Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Cody Vondell and today we're gonna be taking a look at how to get the coolest chrome effects in Photoshop using the iCandy plugin. iCandy is not a free plugin, but it comes with a 30 day free trial and I think it's worth the money that you'd spend to have instant access to these kind of chrome textures anytime you want. Before we get started, just gotta say thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It means a lot that the work that I do here on screen helps you with your design process. And if you're following along with me on screen or using some of my templates that I sell on Etsy, make sure to hop on our Discord. We have a growing community of creatives, musicians, producers, designers over there sharing their works in progress, their memes, their music, all kinds of cool stuff. It's an awesome network to be a part of. Let's take a moment really quick to check out what everybody's been sharing on the server. As always, you guys are crushing it and I greatly appreciate you being on the server, sharing what you're working on, and if you're not over there already, I hope to see you there soon. If you wanna support my channel and get yourself some really cool merchandise and some graphic design templates, make sure to hop on my Etsy. I have pins, I have patches, t-shirts and hats, a variety of holographic stickers, and of course, graphic design templates that will make your workflow a breeze. And if you like my intro, outro, background music, I create it all. Just search Cody Vondell on Spotify or your preferred streaming service, and you can also find me on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. And of course, at Cody Vondell on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and all of that. With all that being said, let's hop on screen and start adding some chrome texture to some of our type. All right, so here are a bunch of logos that I've created in Illustrator, and we're gonna go ahead and start with Eye Candy since that's the name of the plugin. Bring it over here into Photoshop and delete the white part of the logo so that this layer is all one color. And we'll go ahead to our exposure software, and here is Eye Candy. As you can see, we have the bevel width, height, smoothness, round corners, all that stuff. But there are so many lighting presets um, it's hard to make a choice really. Um, and then after we choose the one that we want to use, we can go back and play around with some of those basic settings. Um, I think something like this already is looking really cool on um, the colors and just, uh, I mean, this thing is just looking incredibly shiny, incredibly cool. In less than one minute, we are turning a flat logo into something that is bright, shiny and chromatic and just super cool. And honestly, I think that this, uh, this plugin is worth buying if you're designing stuff like album covers, uh, concert posters, stuff like that, because you're just gonna be able to create so many cool things uh, in just minutes. So uh, just once again, looking through all of these lighting presets, there are so many good ones and I just kinda wanna show the variety of cool lighting presets that they have. Maybe something like this. I think this font really uh, looks cool with this kind of um, chrome texture as well. So. Yeah, just the combination of a really good font with this kind of texture, you're gonna end up making something really cool and it's not gonna take you very long to do that. Check out those details. So yeah, already that looks like a movie cover ready. I mean, that is that is cool. So we'll play around with another one, just kind of drop it in here and turn the visibility of that last one off and we'll get rid of all the white part in here. And once again, go back into eye candy and it's going to want to use the last preset that we used. Um, so we'll go ahead and just start switching some stuff out. I, some, I think something like fiery, maybe in the industrial section, the steel beams or welding might look cool. Yeah, check out those details. This is definitely, uh, that is it for sure. Love the uh, fiery kind of color and we can just kind of play around with these edges and smoothness, all that kind of stuff. Already looking super dope. So let's do another one. This little Y2K logo. This is using a shape from uh, one of my Y2K vector icons packs that you can pick up on Etsy. And I think it looks really cool when you apply these kind of chrome textures to some of those shapes as well. So uh, maybe something like that looks cool. The uh, nature settings have a lot of cool lighting in there. And again, the uh, indoor office space. Yeah, I think that's the one we're gonna use actually. That looks so cool. You can just adjust it a tiny bit, make sure we're getting all those details. 
And already we have four really cool logos. So let's go ahead and transform these, make them a little bit smaller so we can kind of see them all at once. We'll just kind of drag them out. And just get them feeling nice and comfy. Boom, just like that, cool. So we have a ton of good logos already. Let's make a few more. Just paste this one right in here and get rid of the white on there. So the logo is all one color. Make it just a little bit smaller. And back to the exposure software, opening eye candy once again. And uh, we're just gonna zoom in and just kind of get a feel for how our bevel width and height is gonna work on this one. And now we'll just kind of play around with even more different lighting selections. They have so many good options. It's seriously hard to uh, choose. I think something like this with the chrome with that little bit of like sky blue looks cool. Just adjusting a little bit on that width. I'll play around with that blur a little bit as well. Cool, I think something like that is looking good. Yeah, that one is super shiny. That looks great. Scale that down just a bit and maybe bring it down right here. Something about right there looks cool. So Fuselade, this was uh, when I was like 13, 14, around that age, I had a band, it was called Fuselade. It was super industrial, edgy stuff. So we're gonna give this a very industrial, edgy look. Um, let's go with, I think something like that looks cool. 13 year old me would be very, very stoked about that. So I think uh, I think we're gonna use that preset and just adjust the bubble and height a bit, and make it look like super, uh, I just wanna make it look super chunky. Um, I think that would have appealed to my young edgelord self in the early 2000s. Boom. Just like that, that looks great. I am super stoked with that one as well. Scale it down just a bit and drop it over here somewhere. Maybe we can uh, just adjust these a tiny bit, put them in some different places. Oops, there we go. Something like that. Cool, cool. And we have just a few more. So let's go ahead and grab prototype. Drop that in here. Oops. And we'll just get rid of the white and open eye candy. And once again, all kinds of cool presets. It wants to open up our last one, but I don't wanna do two things in a row. So maybe something like that. That is really chromatic, really cool looking. Just play around with the adjusting like the smoothness and the rounded corners and boom, that looks great. Another one down. And that would look cool, like you could fill that uh, fill that texture in like in the middle where like you got rid of the, the white text, that would look cool too. So here's another one, Zebra. Let's go ahead and play with eye candy. And maybe something like this. I think that's really close to one that we've already done, but maybe if we just adjust the, uh, something like that. I don't know. That one's incredibly chromatic as well. That looks pretty cool. Actually, I think something like that is gonna be, yeah, that looks awesome. Cool, so we'll scale that down just a little bit so it fits in with the rest of these. Maybe put it up here, drag this down here and just so we can see them all at once and boom, right there. We have a ton of cool chromatic logos. Really quick, one thing that we can do just to add that extra layer of texture, we'll copy all these, group them all together, merge those layers and we'll turn on our halftone so it gives it a sort of a printed look. I think something like that looks great. And we'll look at that full size. Look at all those details. So just like that, you can download this awesome plugin and start applying these unique chrome textures to any of your logo, your type work, just like that. Before you go, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have a ton of fun content that you do not want to miss out on. And if you want to check out some of my recent work, I just did a video breaking down the logo that I just created for Virtua 94 using my brand new typeface called Googie. I just did a brand new video breaking down the process that I went through creating my brand new free font. I show how I created the shapes in Illustrator and how I use font self to turn those shapes into a font that other designers can use. I did a quick video on adding motion to your Photoshop compositions. And I also did a quick After Effects tutorial on the handwritten and shine across glint effect that I use on Little Nas X's Panini. And of course, I added another episode to the best fonts for Y2K aesthetic series. So that wraps us up for today. I'm looking forward to talking to you all on my Discord server and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you all.